And because we know you loved him in his prior talk, we're bringing back Greg Zolkowski once again. Husband, father, code wrangler, open source contributor, and basketball fan. Greg writes JavaScript at Automatic and contributes to the WordPress core. Spend 10 minutes and save yourself hours when creating custom blocks. Greg will show you how to make the most of the block scaffolding command. Here he is, Greg Zolkowski. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this fantastic conference. My name is Grzegorz Zhukowski, and I'm going to present all those points that might help us developers to speed up the development of WordPress blocks. I hope that you agree that the JavaScript ecosystem has reached an exciting point in history. On the one hand, there is a magnitude of newly introduced language features and accompanying tools. It makes it feel like starting a new project is a big challenge on its own. And based on that, some programmers express what the community calls JavaScript fatigue. On the other hand, some of you might celebrate this era as the renaissance of JavaScript. Now, you can create everything you want using this language, command line utilities, TV and mobile apps, games and the like. The sky's the limit. WordPress JavaScript core team from the start of the project has to battle an apparent difficulty and this is how to take advantage of all variety of existing modern tools and new language features to empower developers. That's why I'd like to discuss some strategies which WordPress Core embodied to make it easier to get up to speed when working with Gutenberg. For simplicity, it's still possible to program using ECMAScript 5 or ES5 for short. This well-established edition of JavaScript standard can run straight in the vast majority of browsers and doesn't require an additional build step. It's also what you would probably use in WordPress projects in the past. In many cases, it's perfectly fine to follow the same approach to start experimenting with your plugin or theme quickly. As soon as your code base grows, let's say to hundreds of lines, it might be a good idea to get familiar with the build tools and set up a development environment to use ESNext and JSX syntaxes. There are a few reasons to do so, even though there is an extra effort to set everything up and it has a steep learning curve. Most importantly, Modern JavaScript enables a simpler code that is easier to read and write. Let me also ensure that we are all on the same page. ESNext is a JavaScript standard that uses features that are only available in specification updates published yearly starting from 2015, like ES5 modules or arrow functions highlighted in the example. JSX is a custom syntax extension to JavaScript used with React projects that helps to describe the user interface similar to a templating language based on HTML like handlebars or tweak. Some browsers cannot interpret or run all available ESNext features and all of them won't understand custom JSX syntax at all. That's why we use a transformation step to convert this code back to the representation that all supported browsers can understand. In the case of WordPress, it's ES5 based JavaScript. I'm sure you won't find it surprising if I tell you that the Gutenberg project uses all the sophisticated tools and the latest language features internally. Now, you might ask the question, can I use all the that to develop plugins or themes for WordPress? The answer is, of course, yes. There is even a useful pattern that can simplify developers' life. It's called reusable scripts. The idea boils down to the moving all the necessary configuration and scripts to one single tool dependency, and WordPress script is such a collection of reusable scripts tailored for WordPress development. It certainly isn't a novel approach. Did you hear about React script or KCD scripts? Those packages were the source of inspiration here. It's distributed as an NPM package that allows us to seamlessly incorporate more advanced JavaScript tooling like code, code transpilation, linting, formatting, or testing. To set it up, you need to install it from npm with a single command presented on the screen. It exposes an executable called wp-script that is designed to be manually configured using the scripts section in the package.json file of your project, and is specific to Node.js development. This example demonstrates the most popular capabilities included. In most cases, it should be possible to accomplish all tasks using the recommended settings provided. 
There is also support for customization for more advanced use cases. If you are keen to learn more, I recommend browsing detailed docs for WordPress scripts package on NPM. So far, I explained what's the difference between ES5 and ESNext JavaScript standards. I presented how you can configure your project to use advanced JavaScript tooling with little effort. Now, are you still concerned that it's too difficult to start coding with JavaScript for the WordPress blog editor? If you said yes, I'm sure you'll be delighted to hear that there is also a WordPress create blog package for blog scaffolding. Create blog generates PHP, JavaScript, and CSS code and everything else you need to start implementing your WordPress plugin. This tool can be executed from the command line using npm init command. There is a way to pick the ES5 template that is an excellent choice for those who want to start experimenting quickly and don't feel like using modern JavaScript yet. Let's see how it works in action. We use a quick start mode included that lets you pass a slug that then becomes both the target location for the generated files and the internal block name. Once the code runs, then you will see uh, your folder generated. If we enter it, we will see that there is entry point, which is a PHP file that is specific for WordPress plugin, and it has some default values provided. And there is also init hook that register your block, and it contains a JavaScript registration that contains a script dependencies. There is also CSS registration and the block itself. Now there is also JavaScript file included, and it uses WP global and ES5 syntax. It also has this create element, which is alias SL, which is used for UI and the block is registered here and there are some settings provided and there is this edit and say there are this edit and say function that use L helper to generate UI interface and of course as I said there is this WP global included and the default version of this command supports modern JavaScript and enables interactive mode that lets you customize the initial configuration for the block. Let's explore it. The generated structure for the WordPress plugin includes support for the most popular JavaScript tools, ESNext and JSX. The difference here is that we have CLI prompts that allow us to override default values included. So we can uh, specify the block slack, uh, the name for the block name, some values that are, uh, will change the appearance in the inserter, like the title, description, category, icon, we can provide some plugin specific values like author, license or version. There's some basic validation included. And then the scaffolding starts, it generates the folder structure, it uh, generates package JSON file, uh, it installs NPM dependencies uh, in formats JavaScript files, and it compiles the blog, which is uh, NPM run build. Uh, that's run behind the scene. And there are several commands available, as you can see on the screen. Uh, let's look inside the folder generated. Uh, it contains more files and some folders now. And the entry point remains the same. It differs uh, a bit because all the values are overridden here and it's reflected in the file. Uh, also, if you look at the name of the it hook, it uh, follows the uh, and namespace and slack entered and there's this asset file which is helpful for development because it automates management of dependencies and the version uh, of the uh, script handle and the CSS and block registration stays the same. Now there's source folder which contains a JavaScript file and it uh, uses uh, ES uh, next and uh, JSX, so you no longer uh, use WP globals, and the block registration looks the same. The difference is that we have the values uh, provided from CLI here, and they are highlighted for so better recognition. And edit uh, and save, they use JSX syntax, uh, and that's the biggest uh, difference, so you don't have to import uh, create element. It's happening behind the scenes. There is this package JSON 
uh, file uh, scaffolded as well. And the heart of this is the script sections, which I already covered, and uh, those uh, the most popular comments. And the WordPress script is installed as a development dependency. And there is also finally uh, node modules, which have those dependency uh, installed. And there is this build folder that is used for uh, enqueuing script rather than the source file. And it doesn't make sense too much because it's optimized for production usage. As, and there is also asset file, uh, which contains auto-generated uh, script handle dependencies for the JavaScript assets. That concludes my demos. I hope that I convince you to try block scaffolding or usable script in your daily workflows. I'm sure it will help to boost your performance. That's all I have prepared. Thank you all for watching.